Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosa here in Jerusalem bringing you guys another video today. Uh, this one's again about my uh, the optical media. And uh, as you know, I went, uh, those who follow this channel know, I recently made a series of video regarding the M-Disc. The M-Disc is a, a variant of the DVD and Blu-ray intended for long-term archival storage. I pretty much know that by heart by now. The M-Disc uh, looks like a DVD or Blu-ray, uh, same form factor, etc but it's uh, engineered a little bit differently, whereas DVDs and Blu-rays store their data through ablating a die, and that optical contrast can lose, it can be lost over time as the die degrades. The M-Disc substitutes that technology for an inor inorganic rock-like layer, and the uh, data is actually written through making microscopic bumps, uh, engraving it into that layer, so as opposed to burning. So it's a super interesting tech, and I have to be honest, after getting all excited about the M-Disc, doing, doing all the videos I thought uh, anyone might ever be interested in about it, and those are up on this YouTube channel, I thought to myself, oh, maybe I should do some stress testing. And if you don't know what stress testing is or torture testing, I'm talking about the videos like this you'll see all over YouTube. Now, these videos are kind of old. You can see this one's from 2009. And that's because optical media really kind of has stopped being a thing that most people care about anymore. But you get the idea, this uh, guy is doing various weird things to his M to his DVD. He's, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. He's uh, warping it intentionally and uh, carving into it and doing all sorts of weird things. He's even, this is crazy, he's breaking it up. Now, I was thinking about doing something like this for the M-Disc, maybe not quite as extreme. I was gonna put it on my roof. I was gonna take it swimming with me in the sea. Um, I was gonna do all manner of wacky experiments. And the reason I decided not to is because I don't think this is actually useful. It may be entertaining, but it's probably not gonna be useful. The only useful information or, or stress testing one could do for a technology like the M-Disc would be to time travel 100 years into the future. Write yourself a bunch of discs, four or five discs, run a checksum on those discs, time travel 100 years into the future, and when you've arrived into the, into the future point in time, run the checksum again and tell us if the M-Disc is working. Now the obvious uh, joke here is that time travel is impossible. So there's no real actual way to uh, do a useful experiment. So what we do instead, or what people do, and this is the really interesting paper uh, from, I'm gonna just put myself smaller so you can see the document properly, from the Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division, which is, uh, as far as I understand, a part of the US Department of Defense. And they put the M-Disc through some insane uh, testing that wasn't quite the same thing as a guy on YouTube uh, cutting up his disc or warping it. They, um, it's a 75 page document. So the fact that the Department of Defense um, put such effort into investigating the M-Disc tells me that uh, probably government departments are actually taking this tech seriously and committing some really sensitive data because the type of data you might commit for storage on an M-Disc would be data that's going to be stored offline, not connected to the internet. And when you're dealing with really sensitive data storage, that's, that's often a requirement, a, a physical uh, network air gap. Um, so you can see in this document, I'm just gonna jump a little bit to the relevant parts here. Um, they describe their process under test conditions this is pretty interesting stuff, in my opinion, if you care about optical storage. The stress test is a single combined temperature, humidity, and light cycle. It's composed of a ramp up, a 24 hour dwell, a ramp down, and an equilibration period that is conducted with illumination throughout the cycle. Figure 1 1 depicts this cycle. So, what they actually did, they took this is a uh, Naval's, uh, Naval Air Weapons Research Center testing out the M disc. They held it at room temperature for uh, 0.25 hours. Then they did an R, uh, RH and temperature ramp. RH stands for relative humidity. So they brought it from 15% humidity controlled all the way up to 85. And they also took the discs from room temperature um, and up to 85, sorry, 80 degrees Celsius. So these are extreme conditions. And then you can see after the ramp up and these um, gradients, the humidity and temperature gradients were both scientifically controlled in this accelerated aging, accelerated aging chamber. And then they were held for 24 hours at these very tough conditions of 80 degrees Celsius and 85% um, humidity. The M-Discs came out of this pretty much perfect. So that's really impressive in my opinion. 24 hours at 80 degrees Celsius and 85% humidity. 
if those conditions existed on Earth, people probably, I don't think, would be able to survive exposure to 80 degrees Celsius. Um, but uh, if it was even 40 degrees, it would be incredibly hot and sticky and unpleasant. So it's, it's a pretty aggressive test. Um, and they also controlled for the light intensity. So I guess what I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make is as follows. The way that professionals stress test optical media is by doing stuff like this, in which again, every variable uh, is controlled, the temperature, humidity, and even the light intensity is controlled as well. And you can even see they've got some pretty crazy uh, photographs in this long document um, of the actual testing process. You can see the disks there um, in, this, um, in this exposure chamber. And it's a literally a uh, physical chamber where, and that's where they're simulating um, all these environmental variables. So this is kind of a useful test. It's designed to, um, you know, the, the premise, I guess, of this type of testing is to say, well, if they can take 80 degrees for X many cycles, then they can survive under normal conditions for X much longer. I don't know if that's a, if that hypothesis is being scientifically established as true. In any event, it's more light, it's more useful testing to your average data storage person than, uh, you know, cutting up or scratching or warping intentionally an optical storage because if you're storing your uh, optical media archive in a sensible manner, there's guidelines online about temperature, humidity, and you should be following those. I've done a video about them previously. Um, so yeah, if, if it survives that, that's really all you need to know. The only definitive test would require time travel, which is an impossibility, but this type of information is much more useful than the kind of uh, pretty uncontrolled, uh, pretty uh, sort of rough and ready experimentation approaches you're gonna be finding on YouTube. So if you do wanna test your uh, optical media, I'd recommend trying to go for something a bit more scientific like this. I'm personally not gonna do that. I have trust and faith in the MDISC. Uh, I realize that the only way to really prove it for or against would be something like time travel. So as that's not possible, I'm simply putting my trust in it. You might not put your trust in it and use a different uh, storage media for your uh, personal uh, backup and archival needs. Thank you for watching the video and more videos on uh, tech, the MDISC and other subjects will be coming to this YouTube channel very soon.